Homosexuality and Gender Determination in Flies, courtesy of Dr. Curtis King Jones of the University of Alberta. How can a cell determine whether it is male or female? How can a cell adjust gene dosage for genes on the X chromosome? Sex lethal is a master control gene that encodes a splicing repressor. It is responsible for sex determination and dosage compensation of the X chromosome. Transformer is a splicing activator. In mammals, the SRY protein was identified as the testes determining factor. Flies are diploid and so they always have two sets of autosomes. The males have one X chromosome while the females have two. The Y chromosome has no functional sex determination in Drosophila. Instead, the number of X chromosomes divided by the sets of autosomes determines sex. An XA ratio of 1 triggers the female fate, an XA ratio of 0.5 triggers the male fate. XXY humans are male, XXY flies are female. An XA ratio of 1 results in expression of functional SXL. An XA ratio of 0.5 results in no functional SXL. The bottom line is that males can never make functional SXL. In fact, if they did, it would be lethal. SXL encodes an RNA binding protein. It functions as a splicing repressor. The gene can be deleted in males. Functional SXL is lethal in males. Non-functional SXL is lethal in females. It provides each cell with a memory of its sex. How does the difference in XA ratio between males and females translate into specific activation of the SXL in females? Chromosome counting transcription factors. Some are located on the X chromosome, others are found on the autosome. Males, these factors cancel each other out through protein and protein interactions. The activators cannot overcome the repressive effects because they are outnumbered. In females, enough activators remain to activate sex lethal because there are two X chromosomes. The X-linked activators out-titrate autosomal factors. Daedalus is maternally provided, that is, it is X-linked. Deadpan is a autosomal gene, either the male or the female can pass this on. It functions as a denominator. Deadpan, deadpan, homodimers also function as transcriptional repressors of sex lethal. Cis A and Cis B are cystilis A and B. They are X-linked genes. They function as numerators. Therefore, sex lethal stays off in males. Deadpan, deadpan, mediated repression. Sex lethal gene has two promoters, early and late. The early promoter is activated by cis A, D A heterodimers and repressed by deadpan, deadpan homodimers. Sex lethal early transcript is therefore only made in females. Early is made only early in development to establish whether the sex lethal protein should be made in females but not in males. Once this decision is made, the status is maintained through the PL promoter. In other words, chromosomes are counted once early in development and the outcome of this process is frozen through a different process, the autoregulation of sex lethal splicing. The early transcript bypasses exon 3. To make functional SXL protein, exon 3 needs to be bypassed during splicing. Exon 3 contains a stop codon. Later on in development, the early promoter is permanently shut off, and the late promoter takes over and makes transcripts in both males and females. Sex lethal controls the splicing of its own transcript at later stages of development. Sex lethal binds intron sequences upstream and downstream of exon 3. It interferes with the activity of SPF45, a critical step in skipping exon 3. SPF45 is a highly conserved splicing factor. Sex lethal autoregulation depends on two AG dinucleotides. Mutation in P, the distal AG is used instead. Uh, sex lethal cannot prevent exon 3 skipping. Uh, mutation in D, the exon 3 is skipped even in the absence of sex lethal. Mutation analysis of these two sites led to the conclusion that SBF45 binding is required for the sex lethal to function. U2AF binding is necessary to mediate splicing of exon 2 to exon 3. Consequently, sex lethal counteracts U2AF function and needs SPF45 to do so. SPF45 binding is required for proper splicing of SXL. Shown is the results from either mutating SPF45 binding site or depleting SPF45 directly. Either way, SPF45 function is compromised in B, C, E, and F. A shows the situation as it would occur in males. D shows the situation as it would occur in females. Whether SXL protein is present or not, disrupting SPF45 function always results in the inclusion of exon 3. To mediate exon 3 skipping, sex lethal needs to interfere with the bound SPF45. Males make only a late truncated sex lethal mRNA, whereas females make the entire thing except for exon 3 in the early development, but then switch to the late truncated sex lethal 
that males have in their later development. The important thing to remember is that early sex lethal proteins need to be established once, early in development. Shown in this slide are active splicing events during sex determination in both male and female. Sex lethal is spliced in the, in the female manner. It regulates its own expression, its own splicing, then goes on to regulate the splicing of transformer, which then goes on to regulate the splicing of double sex. Double sex uh, goes on to regulate the transcription of female development genes. In males, there is no early sex lethal. There is late sex lethal, which is non-functional. Transformer is not expressed because there is no functional SXL to regulate its splicing. And double sex is expressed, although it is a truncated form, only the male alternative splicing results. The alternative male splicing results in transcription of male development gene. Here is the summary of the sex lethal pathway. Sex lethal controls female development, courtship behavior, and dosage compensation. Sex lethal and transformer proteins are only found in females. MSL2, male specific lethal 2, is only expressed in males. The mutant would be lethal, as the name indicates, if it were, expe if it were expressed in females or if it were not expressed in males. Double sex and fruitless proteins are expressed in both sexes but differ in their amino acid sequence due to alternative splicing. Sex lethal regulates splicing of transformer and MSL2. MSL2 is required for dosage compensation in males. Translation of, of MSL2 is blocked and transformer is required for sex determination. MSL2 needs to be inactive in females because it will result in hypertranscription of the X chromosome which would be lethal in females. In contrast, Hypertranscription of the X chromosome in males is essential to compensate for this reduced gene dosage of the X-linked genes in males. Shown are polyteen chromosomes of larval salivary glands isolated from a male, stained with MSL1 antibodies. MSL2 looks the same. DAPI, a fluorescent dye used to stain all the crumbs, however, only the X chromosome is stained with MSL1 antibody um, because that's where MSL1 is. The dosage compensation protein complex is a chromatin remodeling complex that leads to twofold increase of most X-linked genes in males. The dosage compensation complex, which includes MSL2, binds specifically to the X chromosome in male. Transformer as a splicing activator. Transformer is required for male and female specific transcripts of double sex and fruitless. Fruitless determines courtship behavior in both sexes. Transformer, once correctly processed in females, generates female specific transcript of double sex and fruitless. Transformer itself does not bind RNA and requires SR proteins to do so. Transformer functions by enhancing the affinity of general splicing factors for binding to otherwise weak splice site. In double sex, exon 4 is a weak acceptor site and binding of, of transformer facilitates recruitment of U2AF to the site. In fruitless, U1S and RNP is recruited to a suboptimal 5' prime splice site through the action of the transformer probe. Fruitless splicing specifies male courtship behavior in Drosophila. Barry Dickinson's group at Vienna replaced endogenous fruitless with genetically altered versions of this gene. By introducing the male splice form of fruitless into females, they triggered male courtship behavior in females. Conversely, the fe female splice form introduced into males resulted in males courting other males. Fru F is the female splice form, Fru M is the male splice form, Fru Delta transformer is a, tr a transformer binding site has been deleted. Uh, should it should default into the male splice form because transformer is required for female splicing. Uh, the, the male splice form of fruitless is sufficient to trigger male courtship behavior in females. B is two females. The lower one displays male courtship behavior. It is following the female and is going to attempt to mate with the female. Thank you for watching.